Welcome to Core Finance. My name's Charlie Burton. When you first get into trading, there's a lot to learn, a huge amount of technical information to take on board, and of course we have that big emotional roller coaster as well. My next guest today is on that roller coaster right now, so let's just see how he's getting on. He's fairly new to trading. Nish Birch. Birch, that's the one. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you for having me. That's all right, no problem. So Nish, tell us a little bit about, firstly, your professional background um, prior to getting into trading, and, and we'll take things from there. So, um, okay, well, um, I'm a plumber by trade. Okay. Um, which um, You've got loads of money then, so that's <laughs> fine, perfect for trading. Yes, it's okay. Um, yeah. Not very passionate about it, so yeah. finding trading was a bonus, because um, I very much enjoy it. And, and you'd been a plumber for a long time? Yes, um, seven years, a good seven okay, years I was a right. plumber for. Yeah. Um, but yes, not, not extremely passionate about it. It's not something that I could see myself doing forever. But you've, um, you've got a young family? Yes, three daughters. Right, okay. And they're all what sort of ages? Uh, ten, six and almost two. Okay, so that's going to be interesting, trading around, having the kids yes. around. We'll talk about that maybe it at is. some point. But uh, okay, so plumber by trade wasn't that passionate about it. How did you stumble across trading then, and what's made you come across the, tra the trading world? Well, um, I was actually watching um, TV with my brother one day, and um, watched a program called um, Rich Kids of Instagram, okay. and um, I saw somebody on there that was trading, and um, yeah, I was wondering what, what all of that was about. Um, so that's what got me into it. Um, I found out it, it was binary trading, which um, after a bit of research, I realised it's not really trading. Yeah, I, I'm assuming that the person on the rich kids of Instagram probably wasn't either. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a conclusion I came to as well. Oh, oh you did? Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you gave binary trading a, a go, didn't you? Um, yes, I did at the start, just on um, a demo account, but um, quickly realised that was not going to be going anywhere. And, um, it's looked, a dangerous thing. Yeah, yeah it looked binary. more at the long-term trading. Yeah. So to speak, day trading. <laughs> okay. And so, um, so yeah, okay, so that... that it got your interest, it sparked your interest. You watched the TV programme, you saw a trader on it, or so-called so trader, um, and then you gave uh, binary trading a go. Yep. Then you quickly, what happened? So you, you started uh, demo account trading first of all, and then? Yeah, well, um, I, I demo traded for about two months, and um, on all the research that I had done, um, I realised it was helping me a little bit, but not quite as much as having real money in there. So after about two months, I put actual real money into the account and okay. started trading from there. And, and how did that go? Uh, not too well. Like, um, like the statistics, I actually, I actually blew the account up within three months. Oh, perfect. So we all know <laughs> that, yeah, they say that the average person might blow an account in 90 days. Yeah. So you were the That's classic. Yeah, you were bang on. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay. And did you, did you actually make money when you were on the demo account? Oh, uh, yeah. The demo account is pretty easy to make it's money, to be honest. honest. <laughs> it's always the way. It's <laughs> pretty honest. It's okay. I mean, the good thing was that you did is you only put a couple of thousand into an account. Okay, exactly. you blew it, but it was you know, capital you could afford to sort of speculate, speculate with. Yeah, exactly. Um, um, it, it was a costly lesson, but um, you moved on quite quickly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, very, it was worth the lesson, I believe. Could have okay. been a lot more in the long run. So. How, where did you go to from there then? Well, um, after blowing that account, um, I went back to the demo trading for another couple of months and then um, thought, well, I'm not having that. I'll put another, another 2K in, see how that goes. Um, which I, I really, I still didn't have a clue about trading. I was, I mean, just to, sh to show how much I didn't have a clue, I was doing like £10 a pip on a two grand account. Yeah. So risking like 10 to 15%. <laughs> on a trade, so um, <laughs> that didn't last very long as well. Then, uh, to be honest, I managed to hold on to the account Did you? pretty well. Yeah, right, I, right. I managed to hold on to it for um, a good, good six to seven months. Okay. So, um, but yes, that eventually got blown up. Oh, it did. Yeah, eventually. So statistics caught up with you again. Again. Well, because it was binary trading as well. I mean, it's yeah. It's oh, at that time I wasn't binary trading. Oh, you weren't. I was doing um, I, I was day trading normally. Oh, so, okay. Um, yes, but it was just uh, my risk management. Was not very, was not very good. Your risk so. management. Yeah, we'll come on to that in a bit. Okay, so how did you get to where you are today? Um, how did you? What was the process? How did you, you know, come well, along? Um, well, in the in the new year, so at the start of this year, I thought, um, well, I, I was really, I'm really passionate about trading. I really enjoy it. So it's very rare to find a, a career prospect that you actually enjoy and you can be passionate about. So um, I knew I wasn't going to give up there. Um, I actually went to the annual Forex show in London and um, saw yourself and another man doing a seminar there. Um, 
And um, I saw you doing man versus machine and... Trade-off. Yeah, that's yeah. it. And um, basically that got me interested, uh, got me to know you. So I um, did a little bit of research and I joined the Easy Trader. So, so you did a bit of research and I came out okay then? Yes. That's all right. Yeah, a lot better than the other, <laughs> <laughs> the other guy in the seminar. <laughs> oh, sorry. It was, uh, these, these are seminars that go on throughout the day, yes. just so pe viewers know. And so I was doing a, a, a live trade-off. Yes. This other guy was doing a seminar. Yes, exactly. Um, and what happened? What was wrong with that? Well, um, I, I did follow that guy. I went on to a webinar, free webinar that he did. After asking him a few questions, kind of realised it wasn't right. And then um, obviously researched yourself, and there's just loads of content on you. Yeah, and um, unfortunately, sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah, I joined Easy Trader, and that was in March. And how far I've come in those six months. I, this isn't, sorry, this isn't a uh, self-promotion thing going on. It's just, <laughs> I haven't told him to say this or anything. Yes, no. No, just, you just, yeah, okay. Honestly, what's happened. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I've, I've almost been six months okay. now of yourselves learning. And anything I was doing prior to those six months, I don't even call trading. Okay. Yeah, right. so um, now I've, I've actually got a view, know what I'm doing, risk management, and okay. things like that. Okay, perfect. What I think we'll do is... We'll wrap up this as, this as part one now, but we'll come back in part two and talk about that risk management and how you've managed to get to where you are now. Plus, I want to hear some of the juicy gossip about some of the bad stuff that you've done <laughs> on your emotional roller coaster ride in, in part two. So, this is Charlie Burton. We'll be back in part two shortly.